education from the municipality of Sultan Gudarat, Magindana. This is the X Double M 107.3 Megahertz Magnet FM. Magnet FM, the radio station of Skia Broadcasting Center. Magnet FM 107.3. Azan and Radio. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Unstoppable Millennials Campus Hour Radio Show. I'm your host, Abdurrahman Talusan. And I am Aziza Talusan, your co-host. Each week, you will hear mind-blowing interviews as well as actionable tips and learning stories that you can implement in your daily life experience to become an unstoppable learner. And thank you for spending your time in tuning in to DXMM 107.3 Magnet FM, the Unstoppable Millennials Campus Hour radio show every Saturday 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. If you enjoy the show, make sure you subscribe to DXMM 107.3 Magnet FM on Facebook and YouTube channel to notify you of our new episode, The Unstoppable Millennials. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu and good morning listeners and viewers. Hello and hi to our listeners and viewers around Sultan Kudarat Municipality. Hola to our listeners and viewers around province of Maguindanao. Hi and hello to our listeners and viewers around Boim region and other viewers and listeners from other part of the entire Philippines. It's Saturday again. January. It's Saturday again, January 7, 2023. It's New Year already. So it's Saturday again, January 7, 2023. It's another day to be with you again to talk about our latest topic regarding millennials. Another day of enlightenment about what, who, who. Where and house of the millennials. It's another day of sharing about things we have to be aware of regarding millennials. This is unstoppable, unstoppable millennials. millennials. Yes, you heard it right. You are now listening to the Unstoppable Millennials only here on DXMM Magnet FM 107.3 every Saturday 11 a.m. to 12 noon. A radio broadcasting center brought to you by the Sultan Kudarat Islamic Academy. And for today's talk, we will be with you as our as your host. Yes. So I am Abdul Aziz Bandar Basak, the acting dean of the college department. And I am Romney Akeray, the junior high school assistant principal. Before we launch our topic today, we would like to express our gratitude to the Skia President and Founder Attorney Dato Michael O. Mastura, also Madam Haja Lourdes V. Mastura, the School Administrator, and 
our only Vice President for Finance and Administration, Dato Ismail V. Mastura al Hajj. And I would like to expand also, we would like to expand also this gratitude to all staff members who helped for the operation of Sultan Qudarat Islamic Academy. We like to extend also our gratitude to the faculty members and staff of the college department, senior high school department, junior high school department, and the elementary annex. We would like also to express, of course, our greetings to all students of Sultan Qudarat Islamic Academy from all departments. And of course, our listeners and viewers. Yes. Okay, so good morning. So as you can see and as you can heard, we, there is only two of us. I yes. myself, yours truly, with Sir Kirai because Mam Nanding is not, not able. Yes to uh, be with us today because uh, she has some appointment important appointment somewhere else okay so um we have uh, discussed uh, last okay. week about uh yung about sa millennials natin like how they are going to prepare about the uh, new, new years year. yes. no so yung estudyante natin ngayon especially sa uh, college department and are now having or pre preparing for this incoming event no sa ating department and that's that maybe it is one of the uh, ways on how they are going to welcome this new year yes no so oh. magkakaroon kami sir kirai as you know no na yung students natin are so much uh busy diba no, kita natin they are so busy preparing yes they have that preparation na makikita mo may mga nag yells there are also uh practicing dance no may yes. mga singing it is because they are going to have their club festival mm. Okay. It will be next week, sir. That would be on next week. So probably, if that is a competition, no, mm -mm. um, or if that is a club festival, probably there will be a competition. Mm -mm. So meron silang paglalaban labanan. So apparently, my connection doon yung pag-usapan natin ngayon. Okay. But before that, um. Pag sinabi kasi nating ano na competition, competition uh -huh. ano ba yung mga somewhat sir na maalala mo na mga sayings natin okay. no yung mga yung something na you know or you are aware uh -huh. of about the sayings on competition about competition this one Okay, I am not in competition with anyone but myself my goal is to improve myself continuously so minsan pag in a competition kasi parang Yung, yung magiging kutanggalin natin parang iniisip natin na hindi siguro li, kung iniisip hindi siguro yung kalaban natin ang kinakalaban natin is yung sarili natin yung diba? sarili oh, natin kasi sabi mo what if matalo ako ba what if hindi ako makasagot ba madepress ka, oh, oh. ka ha yes kasi sabi mo dinadala mo of course let's say if you are the participants of a particular school sabi mo na what if hindi ako manalo ba parang madedescourage ko yung teachers ko yung coach ko ba so parang Ang ano dyan is, ang point dyan is, ang goal lang naman kung bakit kailangan mo mag-join in a competition is of course, para ma-improve yung sarili. Yes, to improve diba? ourselves. Uh -oh. Kung maga yun yung uh, magiging goal. Uh, that saying actually is saying of Bill Gates, di ba? Yes. Uh -oh. Sabi niya, I am not in competition with anyone but uh -oh. myself. And ang goal daw niya is to improve himself continuously. Uh -oh. So, gan ganun niya uh, napuporsi yung uh -oh. isang competition para sa kanya. So, uh, Bill Gates is not competing with anyone else but himself. Yes. Uh -oh. Yung sarili, sarili niya, niya mismo. Talaga. Kasi, uh -oh. kumbaga, uh, you are going to overcome something na nagahinder sa sarili mo, na parang maging matapang ka, mm -hmm. magkaroon ka ng tiwala sa sarili mo, uh, gawin ang lahat, mm -hmm. no? hindi ka mawalan ng pag-asa. Okay. There is another na sabi naman, ito naman kay Andrew uh, Whitworth, sabi niya, if you are a true warrior, mm -hmm. competition does not scare you. No? It makes you better. better. Uh -oh. Sabi niya, Kung talagang palaban ka, you're fighting, mm -hmm. no? Fighter ka, wa warrior ka. Wala kang competition na, ano, wala kang competition na, kumbaga kinakatakutan, like, yes. uh, you're going to fight for it. Uh, you're going to to face uh, such challenges. Kasi yung mga ano natin ngayon, uh, actually is, yung mga competition natin ngayon, is pwede natin i-consider as a challenge, yes, no? Yes, sir. Uh -oh. O kayo, mga fear natin that we have to overcome. Mm -hmm. Diba? So, sabi niya, uh, hindi daw siya natatakot kasi, 
ito da yung parang it is something that will help him to oh, be better yes to be a the better uh, ber- uh, version of himself mm-hmm. so ganon so um, may kinalaman siya doon sa mangyayari na event natin dito sa college department mm-hmm. no so probably no uh, that competition actually is uh, conducted will be conducted that is to help the students to grow yes. no as a future professionals to grow academically and in sports di ba para hindi natin sila binaburden by just an academic pero we are go- going to uh, develop or we are going to um unreveal or to reveal rather to reveal yung mga hidden talents yes. nila uh-huh. by having that competition uh-huh. so marami silang team na maglalaban-laban doon sa college department and that would be on Monday. So, kasi parang, ng... di ba, uh, as I heard kasi, sir, that competition is, they are not allowed to get a any, ano, coaches. In, yes, oh. yes we, do, we did not allow the oh, students oh. to have so their many... coaches. That is, uh, that means, kasi college na sila, eh, oh, so, oh. they have to fight by their own. Oh, oh. Like, uh, yung mga idea, the choreography, yes. lahat sa kanila oh. yon. So, makikita natin doon kung paano magtutulong-tulungan yung mga estudyante. Mm-hmm. Kasi, yung competition natin na yan is actually, bawat team dyan is magka kahalong estudyante coming from different uh, degree programs. So, mag-share sila ng mga ideas nila. Kumbaga, we are fair no? dun sa pag-ano ng team nila. So, um, ang gusto natin i-highlight dito, no? kasi probably we are going to uh, uh, we are going to, to know, we are going to be aware about uh, who are the students who are competitive, Uh-oh. who are our students who are competent. Uh-oh. Kasi yung, dalawa, yung dalawang tao na yon, a person who is competitive is different from a person who is competent. May, okay. may kaibahan kasi yon. Say for instance, tayong dalawa. Um, meron tayong sasalihan na say that is a math quiz B. Mm-mm. Ngayon ako, uh, sanay ako na, always ako na nanalo sa mga competition at saka ayoko natatalo ako. Uh. Kaya, uh, even na, uh, kumbaga, uh, wala akong masyadong alam dyan sa math na yan, uh-uh. sasali pa rin ako kasi mm-hmm. kailangan, kasi ko. I should be the best uh-uh. no among others. Tapos ikaw, sasali ka naman kasi, uh, kumbaga, you have the skills, uh-uh. you have the qualification, you have the ability no to join the competition or even to be, uh, to win the competition. Uh-uh. So, tayong dalawa, ako, yung competitive. Kasi, though I do not have the qualification, yes, no, actually, no, say, okay. uh, meron lang akong something alam sa math, pero hindi naman ako sure. sure oh, no, oh. Diba? Kasi ang iniisip ko, my goal is to win and to be the best among the rest. Oh, oh. Tapos, Para. ikaw, tasali ka dun, kasi, an- alam mo na, you have the oh, oh. qualification, yes. diba? Kasi, uh, ano, uh, say, for instance, uh, yung major mo is math. Mm-mm. Tapos ako, sali lang ako ng sali kasi ayoko naman na nalalamangan oh, ako. Naiiw- so, ayaw mong naiiwan ka. Ayaw kong naiiwan yes. ako. So, I am competitive and you are competent. Oh, so, so, meaning, yun yung... pag sinabi palang competitive, sir, parang ayaw mong mas na lalamangan ka or nauunahan ka. Mm-hmm. Kumbaga, uh, yung dalawang tao na yun, kapag competitive, ang goal niya is to be the best. Yes. Uh-oh. Yung competent naman is, he is uh, competent, he is, uh, mm. he, uh, he possesses the... Uh, qualifications, the ability, and ang goal naman niya is to do well. Oo. Kung baga, gawin niya lahat ng makakaya niya, tapos doon naman sa result, makikita din natin uh, yung competitive, somewhat masasaktan siya, yes, somewhat uh, hindi niya matatanggap, Uh-oh. hahanapan niya ng paraan na kung baga, sasabihin na, na, na nandaya oh, yung nanalo. That's one no? talaga na one of the mental- mentality ng isang Filipino no, pag natalo mm-hmm. sa isang competition, pag yes. sinabi na pabor pabor daw kasi pabor, kilala pabor. yung judges ganun. yung mga ganun no so that's Parang, competitive uh-oh. so uh, as much as possible no we want our students to be competent yes pag sinabi kasi natin competent na doon yung camaraderie yes. nandoon uh-huh. yung sportsmanship so yun yung gusto natin na i-reveal doon sa mga students mm-hmm. natin at maintindihan yes. nila by just having that kind of a mm-hmm. program event that club festival so pag sinabi pa lang competent no matter what the result importante nag-enjoy ka lang, yes no? and uh, you gave your, your best, best. di ba ginawa mo lahat na mm-hmm. ng ng makakaya mo mm-hmm. okay so, there will be a lot of uh, competition about that. So, meaning, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is, is 
eight tips on how to create healthy competition between students. Between students. Oh. So ang highlight natin ngayon dito is, is of course, course yung students, students natin, oh. no? Kung paano ba tayo magkakaroon ng healthy competition, competition. Oh. sa mga estudyante natin. You may start, sir. Okay, we have the number one, si give everyone a chance to win. In this case, none of the students has the ability or knowledge to complete the task by themselves. It's very unlikely that anyone will have a 100% dedicated interest. Therefore, it's important that everyone is give an exact time limit or only one student is allowed to work on a task at any given time. Instead, you should allow students to work on several things simultaneously to not cause any damage or confusion to their hard work. So, yun, give chance, uh, give everyone a chance to win. So, parang parang hindi natin pwedeng, parang let's say kung sa loob ng classroom siguro masasabi natin na hindi ka dapat pwedeng mag-focus lang sa magaling, de ba? Oh, oh. Or hindi ka pwedeng mag-focus lang sa isa lang, de ba? Parang give chance to others na, yun nga, mag-participate, de ba? Kung... To do their task. Mm -mm -mm. Uh -oh. Let's say, for instance, you are, say, uh, let us uh, relate it to to this incoming event ng uh -oh. college department kasi may mga advisors sila. Mm -hmm. So, dun sa mga advisors natin, kay sir, kay ma'am, mm -hmm. um, hindi sila mag-focus on just one student na sumali sa, sa different uh -oh. competition. Kailangan nila mag-open ng door to other students mm -hmm. na mag-train sa isang competition. That is para ma-reveal ng estudyante uh -oh. yung skill din niya. Na like, kailangan niya magbigay ng trust doon. That is why yung competition natin ito, kailangan as much as possible yung mga students natin may nasalihan. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Diba? Kasi uh, ang goal kasi natin dito is ma-reveal talaga natin mm -hmm. or ma Uh, to make the students understand yes. no kung ano ibig sabihin ng competition at uh -huh. ng sportmanship uh -huh. so, since ang tema nila is camaraderie in sportmanship uh -huh. so we hope so da dapat na yung ano pala dapat yung kanina diba sabi mo sir is competitive and competent mm. so dapat the coach it should be uh, sa darating na event it should be competent dapat mm -hmm. no competent. so that is to, uh, all the students have given a chance to to join in a competition kasi pag competitive kasi yung magiging coach, ang ipofocus niya lang kasi is yung magaling. Yung kasi, sa tingin uh -oh. niya na magaling na, uh -oh. kumbaga familiar siya yes. doon, di ba? So, kailangan niya maging competent sa pagpili ng kanyang mga players. Mm -hmm. And, yun na, uh, kasi after all, this competition will be more about the students, uh -oh. no? Not about the, the advisor. Uh -oh. Because the advisors are there para i-guide yung uh -oh. students. And then, para maging fair sa students, para walang maging bias mm -hmm. sa estudyante na lahat sila may masalihan. So, yun yung ano natin, no? Number one is uh, to give everyone a chance to yes. win. Kung baga, yung mga advisors natin, uh, hindi big sabi na sa student A, para yung nakikita na participative inside the classroom, ibig sabihin, lahat ng competition, ibibigay mm. sa kanya. Yes. Kasi, that is somewhat a burden din dun sa estudyante, mm -hmm. di ba? So, Uh, we have to be fair, especially dun sa mga educators natin or yung mga organizers ng students' competition. Uh -oh. uh, another thing about this is, kumbaga, uh, we as organizers, we do not just focus on just a single competition. Yes, as much as possible, uh, we create competitions na kung saan, Uh, open siya, pero dun sa mga tao na hindi natin masyado napapansin, uh -oh. hindi ma masyado napapansin yung kanilang skills. Uh -oh. So, mag-open tayo ng competition para sa kanila. Para naman, uh, they are going to have the chance to showcase kung anong meron sila. Mm -hmm. ba? Diba? Kasi nga, yung estudyante natin is diverse when it comes to talents and skills. Uh -oh. So, we have to open another competition for them. Kaya, alhamdulillah, because yung, ano natin, yung Dean of the Students Affairs and Services, Very no? Active. So, yes, si Sir Ito Abdul Qadir A. Mangelen, nag-open sila together with the SBC officers ng maraming competition na kung saan mm -hmm. lahat ng talent na alam na sa tingin natin, uh, possess ng ating different students, pwede nila ma-showcase yes. on that day. So, para ma-appreciate din nila and then, para uh, magkaroon sila ng gana na mag-aral pa, mm -hmm. di ba? Yes. Okay. So, number two, uh, number two is to make sure it's real competition. 
but not too competitive. This means that this is where the idea takes on a challenge that needs both physical and mental fortitude to succeed. Mm -hmm. The criteria include a small amount of effort and focus, but mind-blowing results. The main idea behind here is a competition of this kind is to encourage students to do uh, their best, especially those less talented but still want the chance to win. Mm -hmm. So somewhat ano siya, sir, uh, connected doon sa sinabi mo kanina sa number one natin. No? So we are going to open na Uh, kasi let's say yung estudyante natin mababa yung self-esteem niya uh -oh. wala siya masyadong tiwala so bibigyan natin ng chance, chance na uh -oh. kaya mo yan you have the talent uh -oh. you have the skills ang kailangan mo lang is to trust yourself uh -oh. as we trust you di ba? Mm -hmm. so parang bibigyan natin so yung competition din natin actually it has to be fair no? Uh, it has to be real kumbaga uh, real in a way na um, fair tayo sa sa pag-iisip kung bakit natin ikakanda kitang program na uh, itong uh -oh. competition na ito. Hindi natin uh, kinanda kitang competition na ito na dahil alam dahil gusto natin na may manalo na isang specific certain uh -oh. estudyante. Uh -huh. Pero totoong competition siya wherein uh, yung judgment natin, yung assessment natin doon sa yung criteria natin are, are fair, uh -huh. applicable sa lahat uh -oh. na Uh, kung ano man yung maging result, yun na yun. Kung baga, yung term ng, ng ano natin, ng mga tao ngayon, no? Luto na yung ano. Oo, parang diba? gano'n. Oo. Parang niluto yung, yung competition. Oo, parang sabi nila, ay parang nakalista na kung sino ang mananalo. Oo, oo nandyan oo. na yan. So, yung lahat na lang pangyayari is only for formality. Oo, yes. So, as much as possible, i-avoid natin. That uh -oh. is why, no, alhamdulillah kasi nasali din sa meeting namin na yung mga judges natin as much as possible are not advisor of any um, okay. club. That is to be fair. Kasi mm -hmm. lahat naman ng club doon, lahat ng society, uh, merong mga advisors or lahat ng teachers natin sa college may advisory mm -hmm. na, na society. Mm -hmm. So, para ma-avoid natin yung unfairness of judging. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Yung unfair na yes. judging. So, kung mag say, small ano lang siya, small competition lang siya, pero yung result niya is mind-blowing. Uh, Kasi let's say, for instance, yung mga estudyante natin, um, let's say, kahit yung say, sa, sa classroom lang, uh -oh. yung pag nag-announce ka ng highest score sa exam, mm -hmm. highest score sa quiz, di ba big achievement na yun yes. sa kanila, na like, ay, kaya ko pala. Mm -hmm. Mga ganun. So, yung competition natin, parang ganun din. As we gave chance to other students na wala masyadong tiwala sa sarili, mm -hmm. tapos pag nag-announce tayo ng, ng nanalo ano, pala nanalo pala siya, uh -oh. di ba? Magkakaroon siya ng self-confidence, uh -oh. uh, self-confidence. Tapos, marirealize niya na kaya pala oh. niya. So, natulungan din natin yung estudyante na yun. Okay, next. We have the number three. Create an atmosphere of excitement among the students. The goal here is to make, to make everyone feel nervous or upset by having them work on something which may be difficult or boring. Everyone must work together on something they are motivated by and enjoy doing. In addition, as mentioned before, do not force your students to participate in a competition they do not feel comfortable mm. with. Be on the lookout for any signs of negativity and resentment. So, of course, di ba? So, parang kung may mga students na... Uh, pinipili talaga natin, may magsali ka dito kasi ano, mm -hmm. dapat so, wag natin ano, pag ano talaga, pag hindi natin pinipili tapos gusto ng bata, magkakaroon siya ng excitement. Yes, diba? yes. O, parang ipa-feel natin na excited ito, maganda ito, ba diba? Pero kasi pag pinilit mo, oh, kailangan mo mag-join dito kasi kailang, kailangan ka. So, parang masabi yung bata, parang masabi niya na pinipilit siya to join, mm -hmm. ba diba? So, yun nga, yung, uh, as you have mentioned, mm -hmm. na yung idea natin on uh, creating a competition is not to make the students feel nervous. Yes. Uh -oh. Di ba? Hindi natin sila tinatakot, but rather, i an excitement. Uh -oh. Like, okay, magkakaroon. So, kumbaga, yung, yung first, uh, first thing na papasok sa isipan ng isang bata is that, Okay. It is my time. Uh -oh. It's the Mag time for me to showcase uh -oh, my, my talent. talent. Uh -oh. uh, and of course, to challenge myself. Kung kaya ko rin ba yung talent mm -hmm. ko ba is good enough uh, sa dun sa ibang tao na may the same talent with mine. Mm -hmm. Parang ganun, di ba? So, hindi yung magkakaroon tayo ng competition na parang yung bata kakabahan kasi yes. pinilit mo siya na sumali kahit alam mong wala, wala. doon yung field uh -oh. niya. No? So, hindi natin siya pipilitin. Um... 
tawag dito kailangan din nila ano no no mag kumbaga um the, the students has to participate in a competition they do not fail uh, di, uh, we we should not um force oh, oh. yun nga yung estudyante natin na sige na ikaw na magsali dito mm-hmm. paano pala kung yung estudyante ayaw niya kasi kumbaga Uh, ayaw niya kasi alam niya na hindi niya kaya yon at saka wala doon oh, yung talent oh, oh. niya. So, doon napapasok yung pagiging competitive at saka pagiging competent. Oh, oh. Ibig sabihin, yung estudyante na yon naiintindihan niya. He has the knowledge about the competition and he know na yung competition na yon is hindi para sa kanya. Yes, That uh, is why hindi niya ipagpipilitan yung sarili, sarili niya. Oh, oh. Kasi na, alam niya na, okay, uh, maybe this competition is not for me, for other students. Mm-hmm. Uh, the competition for me is the other competition. So, yun yes. na lang sa salihan niya. Mm-hmm. So, we as teachers, yung advisors nila, yung coach nila, oh. di ba? Hindi natin pinipilit yung estudyante. Ibig sabihin, yung estudyante na yun kasi is competent siya. Mm-hmm. Pero, uh, pag alam niya na may knowledge siya regarding that competition, meron siya skills, the qualification and the ability na gusto niyang itry, yes. then... Mm-hmm. Hayaan natin sumali mm-hmm. yung isudyante na yun. Kasi, we, sige, sir. we do not force the students. Oo. Kasi kung ipu-force natin, no, although kasi may mga bata talaga na kahit may alam siya, no, parang mm. ayaw niya na mag-join kasi sabi niya, what if mo, hindi pala ako manalo tapos sisihin ako na mga kasama ko. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yun yung mga, may mga negative signs siya. Mga na, negative oo. naman yun. Oo. Kasi, Kumbaga, yun na yung parang sama na nagiging norms na ng mga students Oo. natin. That is why uh, it is part of our duty as educators, di ba? Sa classroom participation pa lang, doon natin sinisimulan. Now, when a student raises an idea, uh, kung sa tingin ng ibang estudyante, mali yun, di ba? Somewhat... tatawanan nila. Yes. That is why we encourage the students to participate na walang mali or tamang idea. Oh. Doon sa oh, tamang idea sa nasasabihin oh, kasi, nila. Oh, oh. Hindi sila pwedeng pagtawanan kasi we have to put uh, we have to bear in mind that hindi ibig sabihin na sa tingin natin tama tayo, mali na yung iba. Oh, oh. Hindi yes. sa tingin natin na yung iniisip nating tama is Uh, tama din sa iba. Mm-mm. So, may iba't iba tayong perception sa buhay. Ganon din sa mga idea natin. Kung baga, iba-iba yung idea natin. So, um, tawag dito, hindi natin sila, ano, hindi natin sila finoforce. Hayaan natin sila na salihan yes. nila yung competition na gusto nilang salihan. Okay. So, the fourth one is, Avoid competitions where students cannot win. So, kung baka parang nagkanda ka ng competition na imposible naman na may mananalo. Okay, ang competition natin ngayon is uh, kailangan ninyong makalipan ng at least 3 meters. As in, then, then oh. stay for at least 30 seconds. Uh-oh. So, anong gagawin ng mga estudyante natin doon? Mga basic example lang. O di kaya, uh, kailangan magpasa- magpasagasa kayo doon sa kalsada. Mga ganun. Hmm, parang malabo siya. Mga malabo na Uh-oh. may mana. O di kaya, uh, imposible na mapan- uh, nag- nag- nag-conduct ka ng isang competition na pwede lang siyang mapanul- mapanalunan by team. Na, pero, ang nilagay mo doon is... individual. Mm-mm. So, walang possible na winning doon. So, teachers, we, the teachers, the educators, mm-hmm. need to be careful, to be very careful not to create a competition that the students will simply be unable to win and therefore feel like failures. Kumbaga, dahil hindi sila mananalo, lahat sila hindi nanalo, parang pagbibigay lang din ng mm-hmm. exam actually, di ba? Na, nagbigay tayo ng question during the exam na hindi naman natin na ituro yes. kaya hindi nasagot ng bata uh-huh. ngayon iisipin ng bata ay I am a failure yes. kasi hindi ko nasagot yung question na yun pala it, uh, it is because of the teacher mm-hmm. dun sa binigay so ganun din sa competition as much as possible yung ibibigay natin say for instance magkakandak tayo ng uh, quiz B competition na kung mm-hmm. saan dapat yung mga questions natin are uh, all about the topic that we have discussed, mm-hmm. di ba? Hindi tayo doon sa mga advanced topic na hindi naman natin na-discuss yes. kasi mm-hmm. parang iisipin nila, say for instance, na, na zero yung mga ano mo, yung mga uh, participants mo. Anong iisipin nila na failure Failures. sila, oh. di ba? So, we do not create uh, competitions na kung saan impossible, impossible na may isudyanting oh. mananalo. Okay. Instead, no? Everyone must work together to make the competition enjoyable for everyone involved. Mm-hmm. This is why it is also important for teachers to make all of their tasks fairly so that everyone can have a chance and a winning 
or losing even though most of it may depend on students talent or not so yun na ang isa kasi sa mga main idea on having that competition actually is to establish a teamwork within the students mm. na mag uh, kumaga uh, magtutulungan sila mm. kasi actually if we're able to make our students have that coordination yes, diba coordination. Uh, uh, coordination. marunong sila makipagtulungan sa isa't isa oh. actually That is an asset for for us as as uh, educator yes. kasi for for instance you're going to give them a task, di ba? Uh-oh. Or assignment na kailangan matapos nila. So magtutulungan yan sila. Uh-oh. Hanap sila ng paraan na kumbaga you do not have to give every detail na ganito ang gagawin ninyo. Ikaw itong gawin mo, ikaw itong task mo hindi na. Uh-oh. By just simple instruction, kaya na nilang gawin 'yon. Uh-huh. No? So uh, pwede siya na ma- maging reason yung competition natin na to train the students to work in a team. Mm-hmm. 'Di ba? So kaya nila makipag uh, kaya nila maging ang tawag kasi diyan sa mga professional terms is uh, team player. Kasi may tinatawag na individual player, may tinatawag na team player. Mm-hmm. Tina- pag sinabi nating individual player, ibig sabihin mas comfortable siya ma- magtrabaho na siya lang mag-isa. Uh-oh. Pero kapag binigyan mo siya ng task na that is a group task, mm-hmm. parang mababa yung kanyang performance. Mm-hmm. Yung team player naman is mas mataas yung kanyang performance kapag ang binigay mo is group task. Maybe because ini-enjoy niya yung yes, trabaho with, with his, his ano, team. Uh, uh, ba diba? So, team player ang tawag doon. Pero may doon. mga students din talaga, sir, na mas prefer nila yung, yung tinatawag na individual, ano, yung individual Oo, oh, yung individual player. Oo. Oh, oh. May mga, actually, most of that, sir. Yung mga competitive. Competitive yes, ang tawag competitive natin dyan. Yes. Ikaw ba, sir, before, uh, have you ever joined a competition na, uh, well, I believe, lahat naman tayo, no? Mm-hmm. May nasalihan ng mga competition during our time. Pero, uh, may mga nasalihan ka ba na competition na like, hindi ka nanalo, tapos anong naramdaman mo that time? Yung, siguro la parang never pa why nan, wa, nanalo lang siguro ako one time for a Sai Dama mm. so pero yung lahat ng competition ko related mathematics yung let's say uh, in the, I'm always kasi in an individual quiz mm. di ba merong individual quiz at saka yung tinatawag na teamwork team, diba? team oh, yes quiz, mm-hmm. yung sa individual quiz talaga is parang mahirap siya kasi yung idea kasi dapat hindi mo kasi at yung idea dapat lahat sa iyo nang galing so, diba? oh, oh. pag unlike kasi pag team quiz malay mo may alam ka na may hindi ka alam tapos alam, alam na kasama, kasama diba? mo yun yung maganda doon sa team quiz naman de ba yun yung mag, ano sa doon yung pinaka ano at least para ma- magtulungan pero i never experience kare having team quiz na magkakaroon mm, na in a I see. yung sa akin naman i used to join different competitions kasi especially during my uh, high school and college mm-hmm. kasi hanggang college ako i do not know am i competitive or competent basta ang alam ko pag alam ko yung yung competition na yun and i know to myself na uh, may may alam ako doon Uh-oh. and i know how to play that game Uh-oh. sa sali talaga ako dyan so most of the ano, competitions na sinasalihan ko is academic actually mm. so I am more on academic than rather than sports so mga sinasalihan ko usually anong high school ako is mga spelling bee mm. yan ang mga ano ko mga uh, sa essay writing kasi da- dati kasi kinoconsider pa yung writing ng, ang, ang pangit ng handwriting ko <laughs> so Hindi ko alam kasi alhamdulillah ngayon yung mga essay competitions natin is encoded na, ah, hindi na handwritten. So, sumasali din ako, say for instance, sa mga uh, extemporaneous speech, ganon, sa mga impromptu speaking, sinasalihan ko din yon And, yung mga ano, um, scrabble, yes. damat, mga ganyan, nasalihan mm-hmm. ko yan even in division. Pero, yung one thing na sinalihan ko, kumbaga, maybe because... Um, wala siguro kaming ano participant that time and yung teacher ko may tiwala siguro sa akin pero ako yung wala t- walang tiwala sa sarili ko uh, I was asked to join a group competition and that is in news casting mm-hmm. at my first try I'm not able to to be one of those best uh, teams uh, in fact kami yung pinakalas mm-hmm. among all na sumali doon mm-hmm. kasi ngayon nga para mga first timer siguro kami pero uh, hindi kami na frustrate like uh, hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa oh, but then nagkaroon ng excitement ah ganito pala yung feeling ng mm-hmm. newscasting kumbaga yung mga mga mali namin doon inayos namin mm-hmm. so for the next two years we're able to defend the champion 
title. Oh, oh, oh. Hanggang college na yun siya. So, kumbaga, yun sa akin, kumbaga, hindi big sabihin na pag natalo tayo doon, isusuko na tayo. Ma- 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 tawag dito, mapo-frustrate na tayo. Mm-hmm. But rather, we take the learning from there. Yes. Ano ba yung mistake natin? Ano ba yung kulang natin doon? Mm-hmm. So, yun yung aayusin natin. Para at least, by the next competition, we're able to, at least, kung hindi man tayo mag uh, the best, At least we are able to give our best. At least, di ba, kasi may there are students na, let's say, pag natalo, parang he or she blame herself, di ba, mm-hmm. parang ganun. Parang, ano ba yung kulang, ano ba yung mali. Para instead of, pag na, na feel your mind come on or natalo, baka isipin mo na lang, siguro may kulang or may dapat i-improve, mm-hmm. di ba? Na, kung baga, pag-aralan natin kung saan tayo nagkulang, yes. di ba? Oo. As you have mentioned, no, since na-mention mo naman din that failure, ang sabi pa ng mga successful personnel natin, uh, yung mga international na mga personnel na mga successful in life, yung, yung failure daw, hindi yan siya kabaliktaran ng success. But rather, that failure is actually a part of the success. Okay. Diba? Kasi nagiging part siya ng success. It is because the, 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 the moment you failed, Mm-mm. Ang ginagawa ng mga ano na yun, ng mga successful people na yan, is pinag-aaralan nila. Bakit ako nag-fail? Oo. Ano yung mali sa process ko? Baka may mali sa sarili ko. O baka kulang yung knowledge ko regarding that para mag-success ako. Di ba? Yes. So, isipin natin no, for our students na that it doesn't mean that we fail in life. Susuko na tayo. Susuko na yes. tayo. We have to bear in mind that failure is not uh, opposite of success rather. but rather a part of success okay the time is it's already 11:14 no so uh, hello sa lahat ng ating uh, listeners sa hopefully you are able to yes. cope up with us uh, hopefully we are able to give you sana nakapagbigay kami sa inyo ng mga at least small Uh, knowledge, mm-hmm. learning, especially doon sa ating mga millennials kasi yes. sila yung focus natin doon. At hello din, no? gusto rin natin i-shout out of course yung mga teachers natin, yung mga advisors mm-hmm. ng ating student society yes. na ngayon ay nasa school, uh, binabantayan, no? minomonitor uh-huh. yung kanilang mga estudyante na nagkakaroon ng kanilang practice. Uh-huh. No? Nagpo-prepare for Monday. Mm-hmm. So, so, they are very busy, di ba? Busy sila Uh-oh. masyado. Ngayon, ang teachers natin, ngayon busy masyado. Pero, para naman din yan sa kanilang estudyante. At saka para din sa sarili Uh-oh. nila. Kasi, yung competition na yan, sir, uh, though, the, the main focus of the competition is the students, actually, it also developed not only the student, but also the advisor mm-hmm. about how they are going to manage their yes, resources. Di ba? So, resources nila, yung mga estudyante Uh-oh. nila, uh, how can they be, uh, be a good teacher, mm-hmm. uh, tawag dito, mentor, yes. di ba? Na like, advisor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, advice yung mga estudyante niya na pwede ka sumali dito. Di kaya, kasi hindi natin may iwasan, sir, na may mga students tayo na sa isang competition, maraming gustong sumali. Mm-hmm. So, nagkakaroon ng screening, tapos yung iba magre-reklamo. Ngayon, parang nagiging task nila dyan na uh, i-enlighten yung bata na, okay, uh, pwede ka sumali dito sa ano na ito, ito mo napasalihin natin. Kung maga, yes. uh-huh. magiging good advisor mm-hmm. sila na yung bata hindi mapoprostrate kasi hindi siya napili. Diba? So, it only improves not only the students but, ra- but also the teachers. Yes. Uh-huh. So, maraming i- ini-improve yung competition natin na hindi tayo nakafocus on just a single yes. person. Okay? So, let us continue. Number five, that is uh, the purpose or one of the ways to create a healthy competition between students is to encourage students to learn from each other. Oh. See? Teamwork pa din. Oh, oh. ba diba, kung titingnan natin, pag pinag-uusapan natin is about competition, actually, it is about, uh, the, the co- it is not about the competition itself, oh, oh. but rather about teamwork. Mm-mm. Diba? Kasi yan, diba yan ang ulit natin naririnig, especially sa mga yells, mga teamwork talagang maririnig mo dyan. So, students should be aware of their shortcomings and take the opportunity to learn from others by helping them with tasks. Kung baga, uh, let's say for instance, sa uh, cultural dance, kasi part yan ng competition mm-hmm. sa college. So, yung, yung shortcomings ng, say, member of that 
dance. Hmm. Uh, ikaw, yung footstep, medyo kulang, hindi hmm. mo masyado nakukuha. Yung movement ng kamay mo, kulang hmm. din. Di ba mga ganun? Yes. O yung counting mo, nalilate ka. Pero, yung approach ng students na yun, yung si students A kay student B, is in a good way. Yes. Pero kung baga nagtutulungan sila na ayusin yung mga bagay, yung mga shortcoming ng each other. Hmm. Hindi naman yung pag kinorek mo sabihin mo ayusin mo daw hindi mo panira ka sa grupo <laughs> oh diba, mga ganun di- oo oh, oh, so sa ano masyado parang masakit masyado uh-oh. parang fino frustrate natin uh-oh. yung member natin alis ka na nga lang dito yes. ipalit na lang tayo ng iba parang ganun uh-oh. so dito sa competition na ito ang goal natin no, to our listeners especially sa mga estudyante natin na mag uh, magpa-participate sa competition na yan please Uh, bear in mind na i- itong competition na, t- na ito is friendly competition. Pero, the most important is that we are able to help to develop the other students mm. na, d- na kung saan, kung meron tayong talent, dapat magkaroon din ng talent yung, yung ibang iba. estudyante. Kung na, kung hindi pwedeng focus lang sa'yo. No? Yes. Hindi pwede, kasi hindi pwede na yung buong mundo sa atin lang nakafocus. Oh, yes. Hindi pwedeng ikaw lang dapat sa, mm-hmm. sa, buong, uh, sa buong araw ng competition, ikaw lang yung mapapansin. Yes. Diba? Kasi life is not about competition at oh, all. Oh, yes. But it is about helping each other, mm-hmm. uplifting it, each other. So, hindi pwede na uh, yung ano natin, yung, yung lights, sa'yo lang nakafocus. Mm-hmm. As much as possible, makita din yung iba. Mm-mm. Sabi nga nila, no man is an island. Yes. Aanhin mo yung mga papuri ng tao kung wala ka namang nagiging kaibigan, uh-huh. di ba? So, doon tayo sa pagtutulungan. Yes. Huwag tayo masyadong competitive. Mm. But, uh, we have to be competent. Yes. Okay? So, by this, this will give students a chance to find out what they are good at and explore other areas that they may uh, like working on more. Mm-hmm. Kumaga, Uh, malalaman nila na, ah, okay, so gustong-gusto ko talaga sinasalihan yung mga Uh-oh. ganito. Pero, but be, uh, dahil meron siya mga teamwork, Mm-mm. may mga kasama siya, may mga kaibigan siya, na malalaman, ah, so pwede rin palang matutunan ko ito. Mm-mm. So may skill din pala ako dito, i-develop ko na lang, di ba? The yes. importance of teamwork and uh, cooperation, cooperation sa isang team. Okay, sir. So, we have number six. Help each student realize their full potential. For those teachers who feel a bit shy about being competitive in the classroom, you must realize that competitive behavior comes from insecurity and fear of failure. You, so, you shouldn't be afraid of this aspect of your personality. But instead, embrace it as it can help to keep your students on track with their learning progress. The key here is to channel your competitiveness into valuable lesson for your students. Diba? So, help students to realize their full potential. So, ibig sabihin, parang alamin natin yung strength ng students natin. Mm-hmm. Diba? And of course, their weakness para at least uh, maalaman natin as a teachers or di kaya as a coach kung paano natin ma-improve yung ating students. Yes. Diba? Help to track their ano, yung saan ba sila magaling. Magaling, di ba? So, it is about that competition as educator. Uh, we create a competition that will discover yung Your potential ng isang learn. estudyante. Uh-oh. Kasi, yes. di ba, tayo ng mga uh, educators, especially uh-huh. teachers, instructors, habang nagtuturo tayo, nakikita natin, ah, itong si student A na ito, Did student B, C, mayroon siyang potential dito, pero hindi uh-huh. pa lang niya na-discover. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hindi pa niya naiintindi. And so, we are able or we are allowed or say, for instance, kung gusto natin ma-discover ng bata yung potential niya na yun, mm-hmm. we make a competition na kung saan ma-discover niya yung potential uh-huh. niya na yun. Pero, the moment na ginawa natin yan, say, for instance, di ba, may tendency na ay, uh, kasi yung estudyante, hindi niya agad-agad marirealize na meron pala siyang talent mm-hmm. doon, di ba? Parang hindi man ito ata, ma'am. Parang wala po akong oh, talent dito, di ba? Kasi parang nauna kasi yung fear of failure mm, sa sasabihin, di ba? Oo, oo, na hindi niya maintindihan. So, anong ano, task ni teacher dito? To turn that failure that, uh, tawag dito, yung, yung doubtness niya sa sarili niya oh. na maging lesson. Oh. So, kaya hindi mo na-appreciate, kaya hindi mo alam na meron kang dispotensyal, it is because mali ka dito sa part na ito. Oh, di ba ganun? Oh. Mm-hmm. Tinuturoan natin yung estudyante natin. So, by that competition, pwede rin natin i-discover yung mga potential ng ating oh, students. Oh. Parang i flip natin ba? Oo, i-uplift natin. Oh. Kumaga, uh, you know what? 
you are not just a uh, simple and ordinary student oh. but rather an extraordinary oh. only that you have to discover more to explore yourself oh, yes na marami kang potentials, marami kang talent. Kasi di ba, yung students natin, most of the time, parang naiingit sila sa ibang tao na yes. buti pa si student A, oh, diba? buti pa si student, student oh. B, tapos tayo, ano na lang tayo, mm-hmm. sitting pretty. Mm-hmm. Kaya minsan parang napapansin mo sa isang, ano no, parang, yung minsan talaga pag sa classroom, let's say, pag nagtuturo ka, let's say, okay, yung mga perfect nito, bibigyan ko, ah, si, si ganito na naman yan, mm, sir, di ba? Ganun. Parang, hanga-hanga sila sa klase, which is parang, nawalan siguro sila ng tiwala ng sa tiwala sarili, sa sarili oh, nila. Yun. That is why, it is our task yes, as uh-oh. teacher. Na pag narinig na natin, ay alam na natin, I have to make the student realize that he has the hidden mm. potential Uh-oh. na kaya din niya. Kaya ganun. Ako, mas pinofocus ko talaga yung estudyante pa ako, yung mga gusto ko nakagrupo ko, yung mga parang walang tiwala sa sarili. Mm-hmm. Tapos, kasi since ginagawa din akong leader, mm-hmm. ang ginagawa kong representative ko is yung mga hindi nagsasalita. Uh-oh. Na wala silang magawa kasi tanggalin ko sa grupo. So, mm-hmm. para at least, help na din natin yung sa other stud- uh, co-students natin, di ba? So, sa teacher, ganun din ang task natin. Kaya ngayon, di ba, uh, for my students, I'll be uh, making their reports, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, ang ginawa ko kasi, sir, is lahat itong magagaling ginropo ko. Mm. E tapos yung medyo, hindi naman medyo, nasa ano, moderate. No, ginropo, ginropo ko din sila. Sinabi ni sila, sir, bakit ang unfair mo? Hindi siya unfair, mm. sabi ko. Ang gusto ko lang, para hindi kayo umasa, kasi oh, yes. di ba? Pag sinabi mo kasi pag kasama kasi nila magaling, aasa kasi sila doon. May, parang sabi, ang sabi na nila, okay, yes. si ano nang bahala oh, dyan, yes. diba? kaya na niya yan. Oh, oh. So wala sila matututunan, oh, oh, di ba? Yes. Oh, oh. Kasi lahat sila naka, dependent oh, sila oh. masyado doon. Kasi parang, pag ganun kasi sir, pag ano kasi, pag ginrupo natin sila sa matalino, parang nale, nilelet behind nila mm-hmm. yung sarili nila. Mm-hmm. Na like, ah, wala man din yan, oh, oh. si ano man din oh, yan. Oh, yan. <laughs> Pero, <laughs> Pero yung mga ano natin, yung students sana natin na mga magagaling, na mm-hmm. pwede maging leader, may potential, sana tulungan din nila yung mga members nila. Mm-hmm. Like, in a simple way, pakinggan natin yung idea nila. Tanungin natin yung idea nila. Though yes. we have the idea already, malay natin makatulong pa yung mm-hmm. idea nila. Kasi may mga time na kung sino pa yung silent, quiet masyado inside Uh-oh. the classroom, sila pala yung may mga big idea na Uh-oh. may big contribution. Pero diba? minsan, pag naririnig mo din na reklamo, sir, ayoko naman magbigay ng idea kasi hindi niya rin naman tinatanggap. Mm-hmm. Yun kasi mas mahirap din yes. sa isang competitive students. Kung baga, hindi niya ina-accept. Hindi niya ina alam Hindi siya open ng door para sa idea ng, ng iba, iba which oh. is mali oh, oh. <laughs> kasi kumbaga uh, tayo din mismo yung uh, naglilimit sa reference natin mm-hmm. para matuto okay okay so number seven is that uh, to be confident and believe in yourself no uh, your students need to see that you are a natural winner And your confidence shows them that they are, they can do it too if they start strong. This helps students to feel more involved in the competition as they can put their full efforts into it to achieve amazing results. So, kumbaga, you have to serve as a model towards the students. To the students. Yes. Kumbaga, yung, di ba, may mga students kasi tayo na naririnig na, ay, ito na naman si Sir, ito na naman si Ma'am, na game MK na naman. <laughs> di ba? Kasi nagkukwento. So, yes. pwede naman din na, we educators, pwede tayong magkwento, pero sana yung kwento natin is hindi lang patungkol sa buhay natin, but something Uh-oh. na though it is, uh, it is about our life, pero motivating siya. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Na, magiging model tayo, kung maga ikukwento natin na ako before, ganyan yes. ako sa inyo. Mm-hmm. Pero ganito yung ginawa ko. Kung baga, mag-open tayo ng, ng door, mag-open tayo ng idea, mm-hmm. iwa-widen natin yung kanilang idea na, ah, okay, so hindi pala ibig sabihin na hindi ko kinaya before mm-hmm. is hindi ko nakakayanin along the, uh, the mm-hmm. process na hanggang sa magpakailanman. Mm-hmm. Hindi na niya kakayanin. So, we, are, we, uh, we, uh, we must be able to at least Um, why then the idea of the students mm-hmm. regarding that na uh, kumbaga yun na magiging model ka sasabihin mo sa kanila i-encourage mo sila na uh, before sumasali din ako sa mga competition mm-hmm. and I am not even able to win any competition yes. but then what I did is that um I study kung saan ako nagkukulang bakit hindi ko kayang manalo mm-hmm. o di kaya kaya hindi o bakit kaya hindi ko na-improve yung sarili ko 
dahil pala yun, sa ang goal pala niya is to be the best. Oo. Kaya hindi siya natututo Oo. kasi na, nagiging uh, limit yung reference niya. Mm-hmm na yung yung pag-iisip niya pero kung ang ang gawin natin is that I'm go, I'm gonna join this competition though I'm not able to make it mm-hmm. before yes. ngayon I am going to, to do well Uh-oh. no Kaya, hindi man ako maging the best at least maibigay ko yung best ko Uh-oh. parang ganun <coughs> the last one sir remember so we have the last remember learning is a lifelong pursuit not a race in competitive sports winning is not as important as trying your best but that doesn't mean you don't need to ensure that they're making progress in enjoying themselves your classroom should be an environment where students feel comfortable enough to give their all even if they know they will lose in the end so remember learning is a lifelong pursuit mm-hmm. diba so mm-hmm. pag natalo ka ibig sabihin parang it doesn't mean na magstop ka na doon yeah. diba? Yes. So, pag natalo ka, it doesn't mean nag-stop ka. Dapat pag natalo ka, aalamin mo kung ano ba yung kulang. At least, by the next time, al- alamin mo yung ga- uh, gagawin mo. At least, matry mo yung best mo. Mm-mm, diba? Mm-mm. So, we have to uh, to bear in mind na yung yung winning mm-mm. is not as, as important as giving your best. Yes. Kasi, kumbaga, uh, yung giving your best, lahat talaga gagawin mo. Mm-mm. Na, ay, kaila, ito kaya ko pa ito, ito kaya ko din ito. Yes. Pero yung winning kasi, ang goal mo talaga manalo. So, there is a tendency na, uh, let's say for instance, yung mga, maybe, no, hindi ko naman sinasabi, ma, pwede siya maging reason ng, ano, ng, tawag, ng bribe. Mm-mm. Yung panunuhol sa mga, ano, yung sabi nila na luto na. Oh, oh, oh. Parang ganun. So, parang, uh, just because uh, you're aiming for that, Uh, being the best, mm-hmm. no? Gagawin mo ang lahat na hindi na tama. Oh, okay. Pero yung, uh, ang aim mo is to give your best. Oh, oh. That's another thing. Mm-hmm. Kasi kung baga, kung ano lang yung kaya mo, ipapakita mo. Yes. Uh, you might win, you might also lose the mm-hmm. competition. Yes. But at least, you're able to showcase kung ano yung kaya mo. Kasi mm-hmm. yun naman talaga yung goal natin oh, oh. doon. Not about being the best. Hindi na yung ibig sabihin na pa yung gusto mo manalo, tapos parang gusto mo nang patayin yung ka- kalaban. Kalaban yung, mo. Ano, mo. Diba? Gusto parang, mo na lang ma-disqualified oh, siya, lahat na oh. lang uh, magiging... Y- wala na, nawawala na doon yung yung sportmanship, Uh-oh. nawawala na doon yung sinasabi natin ng camaraderie, mm-hmm. di ba? So, dito, well actually, uh, speaking of that camaraderie and sportmanship kasi, ang theme ng ano, ng tawag dito ng um, club fest ng college Uh-oh. is about uh, fostering uh, camaraderie and sportmanship uh, through sports and academic competitions ganon so so with this no uh, i believe uh, we have discussed uh, everything about mm-hmm. how, how are we going to make or create a healthy competition, competition. between students uh, by this um, i would like to remind all students of the college department of skia that um, the competition will begin will commence on monday Mm-mm. january 9 2023 and we have to be in the campus by at least 6:30 no para sa ating parade so mm. please uh, be ready for that and then good luck sa yes. ating students and Uh-oh. also our advisors so okay so uh, with that no Uh, if you want to induce competition as teachers or educators, there are two possible ways to do it. The first is to create the necessary resources in your classroom mm-hmm. or say in your in your school to allow students to develop their diligence aptitude. This includes giving them stylistic material and tools that they can use to make their work more interesting and unique. The other way is creating an atmosphere of healthy competition between students. In this case, the best way to do this is by organizing a friendly challenge where all the students are encouraged but not forced to participate and compete for your reward. So, okay. I think uh, we're about to uh, yes. uh, spend <laughs> our time. time. So, thank you very much to our listeners and viewers, viewers on oh, Facebook oh, oh, oh. for uh, tuning with us. Hopefully, uh, you don't stop uh, supporting us no? and uh-huh. listening to us. Uh, we are 
going to try every Saturday our best to give you the best. Yes, uh-huh. Diba? Na yung mga learning na pwede naming ma-share sa inyo. So, uh, tandaan lang natin, we have to remember that uh, a person, an individual that is trying to be the best is different mm. from a person, an individual who is trying to do well okay. no in competition so once again this is abdul ajis bandar basak the acting dean of the faculty of college department okay so see you again next saturday so masasabi ko lang that in a, every siguro isipin natin na in a competition meron talagang mananalo at merong matatalo okay so this is uh my name is romney ikirai the junior high school assistant principal shukran and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh If you enjoy the show, make sure you subscribe to DXMM 107.3 Magnet FM on Facebook and YouTube channel to notify you of our new episode and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for listening and hope you learn some great things that can help you every day. Until next time, stay safe and see you inshallah. Broadcasting with